911, what's the nature of your emergency? Welcome back to the Tactical Living Podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Walton. And I'm your co-host, Clint Walton. In today's episode, I thought we would talk about how difficult we tend to make lives for our se- life <laughs> for ourselves and how there are simple tricks to really make as few decisions as possible throughout our days. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy today's content. Clint and I just came upstairs and... When we were downstairs, I just put a load of laundry into the wash and I put the laundry detergent in and it's actually a new laundry detergent that we're using. And I want to I want to preface this by saying we are not sponsored in any way. But this new laundry detergent, it is 32 loads and it comes in like the smallest envelope possible. And it's these little tabs of laundry detergent that you just tear off and you put into the wash. And Clint and I were talking about how easy it is to use these and how well it cleans our clothes. And it got me thinking about how many times in our lives, especially in recent time, we've been trying to do simple things that make life just that much easier on us throughout our day to day. And it could be something as simple as when we do the dishes, for example, Clint used to get like everything that you can put into the dishwasher in terms of cleaning your dishes, he wanted it all. And so I got to this point where we used to use the little the little tabs. I don't know what you call those, like the little packs that you put in. And then we would also use the liquid detergent inside of the machine. And then whatever else Clint puts in there, he's very fancy that way. <laughs> I like putting jet dry in there and stuff like that. And It just makes the dishes cleaner. Okay, so I got to this point a couple of years ago where we were at Costco and Clint was like, don't we need more of the liquid detergent? And I told myself, like, it's one extra step that we don't have to be taking. Like the little tabs that we put in there, whatever those little packs are, like that's cleaning the dishes well enough. We don't need to expose ourselves to additional chemicals, number one, but then take the extra step of literally unscrewing the cap, like pouring it in there. It doesn't have to be that complicated. And that's just one one step in the right direction when it comes to minimizing the amount of decisions that we have to make every single day. And some other things that come to mind are our clothes. Clint and I are very simplistic when it comes to the clothes that we wear. And that's because we don't want to spend 10 freaking minutes inside of the closet trying to figure out what we're supposed to wear in order to look good for the next day. You know, it's as Ashley speaks on this, I've always been pretty cognizant of that because I'm simple. I'll just grab a pair of shorts and a tank top and throw it on. And I, it's always been simple for me, but it's even taken that extra step of, well, am I going to wear flip flops today or shoes? And recently, and I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but I started leaving my work socks home. And wearing them to work instead of wearing flip-flops because that's one extra step that I don't have to worry about when I go to work. And it it sounds so like just kind of petty, like petty. But what that really comes down to is, and, and I don't remember the book, but I'm sure you're going to be able to recall that of minimizing the decisions we have to make on a daily basis because... Over time, you think about it in the morning time. How many decisions do you make? Whether it's, okay, do I need to brush my teeth? Or whether it shouldn't be a decision. (laughs) Well, it is for me. Maybe what what toothpaste to use and things like that. And very much so because Clint and I recently actually went through our cabinet for all of our coffee mugs. It got to the point to where it was just overwhelming how many damn coffee mugs we had. And sure, we buy some randomly, maybe, I don't even think we really purchase many of them on our own, but coffee mugs just tends to be something that, especially around the holidays, people gift you. Well, and that is still a decision that I make every morning for you because they're special mugs that you make. So I like when I bring you your coffee, I like having different mugs that I know that you like in the morning, but that's an important decision for me to make, even though it's so petty 
because you like your clear glass ones where you can see your coffee through it. And if we have it available, I try to give that one to you. And very rightfully so. We actually went to a dollar store. Clint doesn't like to take me to the dollar store for some reason. But when we went there, I saw I only had one other clear coffee mug and my mom had given it to me. And there's just something about like being able to see what it is that you're nourishing your body with that I really enjoy. I value that. And when we went to the dollar store, they had one that was even nicer and bigger for a dollar. And I remember thinking like, if I just buy several of these, like I could just use this one coffee mug every single day of the week. And that's another decision that I won't have to make. And if you think about going back to the same concept that Clint was talking about, all of the decisions that we're forced to make before we even leave the front door every single day, if we can limit that to as few as possible, then we have a clearer mind. And it's not like we've already done all of this mental work before we even start work in general. And it opened you up to actually making those decisions later on in the day. The more important decisions, whether it's work or relationship based or whatever it may be, instead of using up the number of choices that you have over these petty things, you set yourself up to where you're not saying on those important matters, well, I don't really care, you decide. But in all actuality, you do care. And if someone else decided that for you, you might not be as happy about it. For sure, especially if you're a high performing individual or you work in a profession where you're faced with constant decision making throughout the day, it's easy to be passive throughout the day because we we do hit this threshold mentally when it comes to how much we're willing to put forth the effort and how much we really care about about things. And if you think about the start of the day towards the end of the day, like that's a perfect explanation of how the two contrast with one another when it comes to our mental fatigue. Yeah, and you go, as you said, the high performance people who are out there. And and the story that really sticks out in my mind is Steve Jobs. When you told me kind of his story of why he was so simplistic on what he wore and what he did. So when he got to work, he was be, he was able to make those decisions without being over drained from making decisions. That's why you always saw him wearing black t-shirts and blue jeans. That's what he wore. That was what Steve Jobs was known for wearing. And it was so simple. And you, you research other people who are high performing and you look in their closets, they don't have choice after choice of different clothes to wear. They have their normal everyday clothes and then their dress attire, of course. But it's so simple where you're not having to decide. You don't have to pick from, do I want a white t-shirt? Do I want this design? Whatever it may be, it's very simply put down to that. For sure. And I think that it's important for us to identify the amount of creative energy that we're actually exhausting on such minute decisions every single day. And by by really sitting there, as you, as you listen to this, if you can think of things in your life that you can limit in order to maintain a natural flow and to not have to think so hard about things that don't really matter, I think it can really change the trajectory of your day. I know one thing Clint and I struggled with a great deal was our food choices. And so we began became very specific on a number of foods that we routinely turn to and then also gravitating towards snacks that are on hand readily. And for us, it's like a particular protein shake, right? Mm -hmm. And when we go to the grocery store, even in knowing that there are certain things that we constantly consume, we don't have to spend hours going through the grocery store because we already know what it is that we're going to be buying. Yeah. And In looking at that, and I had never even thought about it, it's we have almost a routine now when we go to the store of what we hit instead of going up and down every aisle when wasting time. And and like we've talked about in previous episodes of how time is so important, where it's such a mundane task of having to go to the grocery store. We dread it. But now it's just so simple. We've cut our time probably in half of what we spend at the actual grocery store. For sure. And we've we've actually gotten into this new rhythm of being able to extend the amount of time in between having to go to the grocery store, which again, preserves time and preserves that mental space and creative energy to be able to use it on more useful things that allow us to live in our purpose and to be with each other and to spend time with one another. And 
And today, especially now bringing two patrol horses home, we need that time even more than ever in order to be able to find the time for one another. Absolutely. And and not only for one another, but for our other animals as well. And, you know, as Ashley spoke about in the past is after bringing the horses home, there's a lot of work involved to it, to setting up the corrals and putting the siding on and just getting everything ready and safe for them. Our three little Pomeranians, they're sitting on our back porch or back window just staring at us like, why aren't you guys in here with us? And they're so used to us just being present with them, whether we're petting them or giving them attention or not, we just weren't with them at that time. Yeah. So as you listen to this and you go about your day, we challenge you to actually think about what in your life can you simplify? What in your life are you exhausting too much mental energy and time on that really doesn't make a difference in the long run? And as you think about that, if if you are brave enough to reach out to Clint and I, we would love to hear what your response is. And if you're not already a member, we would be so honored to have you in our police, fire, military, and Facebook group. There's a link down below, or you can just search us out on Facebook. We'll talk to you next time.